Hi and good evening. Welcome to The Empowerment Effect. This evening I'm talking actually to my daughter. I'm going to own up to begin with. Um, and she's not been prepped in any way. If anybody knows me and knows my daughter, they will know that she doesn't do a damn thing I tell her. So good evening, Georgina. How are you? Evening. I'm good. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> right. George, um, I asked you to kind of do this because I thought it'd be really good for my viewers because obviously I do EFT. It's something I've started in the last year. Um, and I discussed it with you and I said that I thought it would be good for you to go and have some sessions of which you kind of made a face at me to begin with. Do you want to take it from there and tell your story? Yeah. Um, obviously you kind of pushed this new lifestyle upon me in the last year. And at first, yeah, I was very resistant. I went to a session, um, and just didn't really commit myself to it at all. I was just very resistant to accept it. Um, and I think that's kind of natural because it's quite a big change. If you've been brought up thinking that, you know, these things don't work at all, it's, it's a lot to get your head around at start to think that actually all along you did have the power to be happy by yourself, you know just doing things by yourself and it's it's a lot to digest to begin with okay so what were you actually resistant to i don't i wouldn't say i was resistant to the actual eft itself i think i was just more resistant to the change of lifestyle that you take once you commit yourself to eft because it is you naturally you do take on the meditations and the positive thinking it's it's not just the EFT sessions alone, it's, it's a whole lifestyle change. But once you do make that change, you just can't go back. I mean, I've, I've been so much happier and since I've really committed myself to it, I've seen drastic changes in my life all for the better. Okay, are you happy to share some of that? Yeah, I mean, my, my pr product, get your words out, um, <laughs> my productivity has just got skyrocketed. I take charge of my diet now, I make sure I sleep properly, I do a meditation every day. And it's not necessarily the same meditation I choose as to what I fancy. Um, I'm finding that I'm, I'm blocking things that I didn't even realize I had, like issues from my past. And since I've had those blockages unblocked, it's just, you feel really clear, you just, everything's a lot clearer it's just so much easier to be happy and stress is just don't hit you the same way because you know that you can deal with it yourself you don't have to keep it all inside you can just get rid of it then and there and it's just so much easier so what would you say to anybody this kind of thinking or anybody who is suffering the way you were suffering because i mean I'm, it may you know i'm it may be an idea to tell the viewers what was actually happening in your life beforehand, if you're willing to share that. Yeah, I mean, I was struggling with work. I wasn't happy with work. Obviously, I'm away from my mother a lot of the time, her living across the like oceans. So I really struggled balancing my life between friends, family, work, doing things for myself. Um, and I don't know, it's just it's all come together it's very hard to you know explain it's just it's just all come together and everything's so much easier and i don't have to worry so much or stress or because i know that things will work out just as long as i believe and listen to myself so that's a it's basically you've kind of gained in confidence then completely completely and I have to say to the viewers, I'm not plugging myself here because Georgina has not been doing EFT with me. <laughs> no, definitely not. So is there any other areas where you've gained that you can actually say? Um, Self-confidence is a major one that I have gained in. Product, product, <laughs> I can't get my bloody words out now. Predictive, pro mm. help me out, mum, help me out productivity yeah definitely <laughs> um confidence i don't know i'm i'm starting to just feel happier in my job i it's it's confidence within myself 
I trust what my heart and my head tell me now whereas before I'd always second guess myself or just go with the logistical way of doing things where I've, I've learned now that actually you do just have to trust your gut there's a reason people say trust your gut because when you do amazing things happen that's brilliant that's lovely is there anything else you want to share especially with the kind of people your age because obviously it's quite unique for somebody of your age to, to kind of be going down this road so early. Yeah, definitely. I would just say, don't be afraid of change and just allow yourself to wrap your head around it before you really go for it. Because once you've wrapped your head around it and you make that commitment, you can't, you can't go back. It's brilliant. And you take it as a commitment, do you? Yeah, it's, it's, it's not, it's not even, it doesn't feel like a commitment that I can't get out of. It's a commitment within myself that I know I'm doing the right thing because I'm happier for it. Right. So you've committed to yourself is what you're saying. Yeah. yeah. I'm committed to my own self-happiness now. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, that's really, really lovely of you to share that. Thanks, Georgina. All right. <laughs> And that's it. Just a very quickie from Georgina, just to kind of get a perspective from somebody who's just kind of starting down the road of self-development and self-exploration and making some changes and taking charge of her own life and her own happiness. So again, thank you very, very much. All right. And good night. <laughs>